Hey, good morning YouTube. This is Tom from ARTF Construction. I'm going to show you how you can put down the uh, Rust-Oleum Rock Solid Garage Floor Coating. And this is what you need to do. If you have a two car garage or one car garage, it's the same process. You have to degrease your floor and you have to clean it thoroughly first. Then after that, you have to etch the floor. After etching the floor, you let it dry. Then you come back and fix all the cracks, such as this. All these cracks right here, you have to fix them. And they do rust on your sell a product that you can, you know, that you can fix these cracks with. And it's really fantastic. See all these cracks? I will show you the next video after the uh, the floor is dry and I will tell you the process step by step. If you want to have a professional looking result, preparation is everything is key. Thank you and I'll post the next video. Thank you. Hello YouTube, it's Tom again from ARTF Construction. I'm going to show you how to fill the uh, cracks with uh, Rust-Oleum this is the product that you use for this and it works really fantastic. It's called this. It's called Rust, Rust-Oleum Concrete Patch and Repair. It's the best. But make sure you clean dust, use a vacuum cleaner to, to suck in all the dust and dirt in the cracks. Then you mix this special epoxy and you fill them up. I will update you, I will show you exactly how it's done. So I'm going to do it now and you'll see. And I will wait 24 hours and then I'll go send it. Thank you. Hey YouTube, this is Tom again from ARTF Construction. After we filled in the cracks that I showed you in the other video, um, the next day I send them and it creates a lot of dust. Yeah, make sure you protect your eyes, your ears, and your nose. So this is what it looks like now. After sand it, you rinse it with a power wash. So the most important thing, again, I state, is the preparation is the key to a successful, smooth epoxy floor. If you don't do these things, you're going to fail. You're not going to be happy. So take your time, don't worry. Three days, four days, whatever it takes you. Do a good job and send all the cracks that you filled. If you do have a, a cement floor that had some cracks, you do this, I guarantee you, you're going to be happy and have a floor that's gonna last you for years to come. Thank you, I'll post more videos. Hi YouTube, it's uh, Tommy again. Um, after everything is dried and uh, I sand it with the diamond disc, all the cracks, so there is no more uh, hairline cracks and a little bit bigger cracks. So what you do is, by the garage opening, you snap a line with the chalk and you put a tape where you want the epoxy to stop. Otherwise, you're going to have a wavy look. It's not gonna look good. So this is how you achieve a straight line. You also, if you have a uh, leveling device, also you can use that, it will work. And you have to prep. See all the cabinets, I prep the paper, so I don't touch it with the epoxy paint. I'm not going to move the fridge. I just lift it with a two by four from the bottom so I can go on the knee. Nobody ever gonna see that. And this is the prep right now. So very soon I'm going to start applying the epoxy. And then I'll put the flakes also so you can have that mosaic look. And I can, I state again, everything is in the prep to achieve a professional results. I send it everything, I power wash it two, three times. So the concrete is nice and clean. So what happened is when it's super clean, the adhesion of the epoxy will work really nice, will hold, will last you a long, long time. I have the next video coming up when I'm 
I'm not gonna bother applying the epoxy. It's very, you know, it's self-explanatory in a direction when you buy the kit. So it's very easy. So I'll show you the final result when I'm done. Thank you. Well, if you kiss, then I will tell. 